Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine. Um, this does change uh, daily. My foundation I always change depending on what kind of shade I am or what um, I'm doing, whether I'm playing sport, whether I'm going out, going out of an evening. Um, but yes, this is kind of the basic routine that I get into every day. So yes, um, I've actually done all my face makeup, contour highlight, just put a bit of mascara on. If you want to see um, the contour and the highlight, I have done a contour and highlight routine video. That'll be my next video up, so stay tuned for that. But let's just jump straight into the video. First of all, I'd just like to apologise for the state of my neck, my hands, just yeah, everything. I fake tanned um, a couple of days ago now and it's just really wearing off and not looking at its best. I just wanted to mention what I'd use to prep my skin and for moisturiser and I'm using at the moment the Garnier Skin Naturals Moisture Match. This is the pink one and it's the dry to very dry skin, the 24 hour hydration, ultra hydrating rich cream and I absolutely love this. I've been trying this out for about a week now and it is my new favourite cream to put on before my makeup so yes I've been using that one. So for foundation today I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Lumi Magique in the shade W3 um, gold linen and yeah, I really, really love this foundation and to apply that I'm going to be using my Sephora Mineral Powder 45 brush. Once I've done that I'll just take a little bit more and just pop it in the areas that I feel I need a tiny bit more coverage. get redness mostly on my cheeks so that's where I kind of focus my foundation and concealer mostly. So for concealer for my face and stuff I usually switch between two different concealers depending on kind of what shade I am and um, what coverage I kind of want so I have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. Yeah this one is quite dark so I use this when I'm tanned and I also use the Collection Concealer in the shade 3. Um, I'm going to be using a mixture of both today so yeah first of all I'm just going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear. What I do is just pop a bit on the back of my hand and just place it in the areas that I feel I need the coverage. I'm taking the same Sephora brush that I used my foundation just pushing that into the skin love this concealer it really lasts for a long time on the skin so if you're looking for one that just doesn't budge I think for a long way it's so good and it lasts you for ages can you get so much product I'm just gonna take my collection concealer and kind of go over the areas that I have just popped that on just to kind of have just for a bit of extra coverage As you'll probably be able to notice this foundation is quite dewy, um, hence the name Lumi Magique, but um, yeah I don't, I really like it and I have um, dry skin so I think it would be a good one for dry skin but maybe not oily because I feel like it would probably slide around a lot on the skin. So for under eye concealer I kind of use similar concealers, I use the MAC Pro Longwear but this time in N. W15 but I don't have much of this left so if I can get some out I'll use it but if not um, I usually use the collection in um, number one fair and also the collection illuminating touch concealer in number one naked so I'm just gonna combine the three and just make some situation underneath my eyes. So that's the pro long wear just kind of gone underneath my eyes, that's all I could get out. I'm just going to take my Real Technique contour brush and just buff this underneath the eyes. I'm taking my collection concealer, I'm going to kind of do a little bit more highlighting on my face. Again, just going to go underneath the eye and bring it out a bit. Around the centre of my nose, kind of three stripes on my forehead, and then some on my chin. Kind of looks like some tribal warrior or something. Interesting. And just press that into the skin.
So as you can see, that concealing and highlighting has kind of brought just a little bit more dimension to my face, um, which is really, really nice and doesn't make it look just like flat and all one colour, it kind of gives it a little bit of texture. Sometimes I will use the illuminator, but today I just don't feel like using this one, but this one re is really, really good for underneath the eye. So to set my under eye concealer, I'll be using the same brush that I used for the concealer, but the Makeup Forever um, HD High Definition Powder. This is just in the translucent colour, I think. Um, I don't know if you can get different colours, but yeah, it's just the high definition powder. And I love this one underneath the eyes because it's so silky and so soft. Oh, <laughs> out of smoke. Just sets it really, really nicely. I'm going to be doing a contour and highlight um, kind of routine video on my channel, um, so make sure you look out for that one. If I was to do my skin now and I was to use like a cream contour, then I'd do that before I powdered. Um, I'd either use the Makeup Revolution blush stick um, in Malibu or I would use um, a darker foundation. I've got, I've got a Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I use that sometimes to cream contour. But in the contour and highlight video I'm going to show you I'm probably just going to be using powder contour because that's what I usually use day to day. So for powder recently I've kind of changed things up a bit and I'm using the Eco Tools brush. I don't know what, what brush this is called. I think it's like a kabuki brush or something. It's massive. Um, and I'm using it with the Clinique um, blended face powder in 20 invisible blend and I'm just going to be popping that all over my face. I'm just going to be pushing that into the skin. I push it into the skin because I find if I wipe it, especially with this big brush, it just wipes and slides off my foundation. The worst place that I find my foundation rubs off is just here on my jawline. It, um, it's really, really weird. That's the only place that my foundation kind of comes off. Um, and it's really, really annoying. So I've just tried to use a bigger, denser brush to kind of press it in. It seems to be working a lot better. And I'll just take my Real Techniques powder brush and kind of just go over that and just take off any of the excess powder that may have got there. So that is my foundation routine. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've actually gone ahead and finished off all my face makeup and just put a bit of mascara on because I've actually filmed another video, my contour and highlight routine. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel to see that one. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed my foundation routine. And if you liked it, then give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.